Hi everyone, I'm back with two videos that will take you through the fundamentals of Funko Dynamics. As I've mentioned before, Funko Dynamics is really the study of how drugs produce their actions. As a simple concept, all drugs act by interacting specifically with its receptor. This drug receptor binding kickstarts a series of events through various messenger chemicals to actuate a measurable biological response. Now we say that the drug interacts specifically with, with its receptor because each receptor only allows a very limited range of molecules to activate a response. Specificity also refers to the fact that drug molecules can only activate a limited range of receptor types. Now, some receptor interactions are highly specific, while others are less so. But we won't bother with that now. When a drug molecule directly initiates a response, that molecule is called an agonist. Not all drugs, however, are agonists. Some drugs act by binding to a receptor and preventing an endogenous physiological agonist from producing its physiological effect. Such drugs are called antagonists. Now, so far, we have been talking about drug receptor-generated responses as being reversible. But not all drug responses are reversible. Many responses can be irreversible. For example, omeprazole, is an irreversible inhibitor of the proton pump. Many oncologicals are also irreversible because they cause destruction of cancer cells. Some drugs, on the other hand, can stimulate cell growth. As you can see, drugs can produce a biological response through a wide variety of mechanisms. We cannot cover everything here. What they all share in common is the very specific nature of the interaction between drug molecule and its biological receptor, which may come in various forms. We will stop here for the moment, but don't go away because we will continue this presentation by looking at the concentration response relationship in the next video. I'll see you then.